Hi guys and welcome to 123MyT's video on the HP ProBook 430 G2. So this is the second edition to the previous model which I reviewed on the 123MyT website and that was the ProBook G1 model. Okay guys, so if we take a look at the specs on the side of the box here, we've got the Intel Core i5 4210U processor We've got the uh, 320 gigabyte 5400 RPM hard disk. So this can be actually changed out for an SSD if you wanted a uh, quick response time with the loading of apps and Windows. Four gigabyte of RAM, okay, it's a, and it's a DDR3 RAM which is clocked at 1600. And we went over the Core 5, uh, 45 watt smart uh, adapter. We've got the four cell 44 working hours uh, battery, the uh, LCD or LED screen is 13.3 uh, uh, inches. We've got the fingerprint reader, so you've got to remember that this uh, laptop is aimed at uh, corporate or um, enterprise users. And uh, we have uh, warranty 3 warranty webcam which is 720p HD 430, uh, Broadcom Bluetooth and wireless uh, and it also does have a spot down the bottom there for WAN access so you can actually uh, get this model with the um, SIM card in it which will allow you to carry it and have internet wherever you go or wherever there's a uh, uh, 3G signal so you just need to run a, a knife through the tape at the top okay guys so we've just opened up the box here and the first thing you'll notice on the outside of the box is just plain packaging. It doesn't even have a HP logo on the outside. But when you open it up, you'll actually get the Intel uh, sticker on the inside there. So if we just start pulling out uh, the packaging here. So there we go. So there's the uh, battery. We'll pop that on in a sec. Your um, power adapter, power cable with the Australian pug at the end of there. Obviously, if you're in the US, you'll have the US pug. And the universal uh, power brick. Take that off. And you can see we plug the uh, power into the under end there, and that power that end goes into the uh, laptop. Pretty standard, most laptops. I'm just slide this one out. Okay, so this is the main part of the laptop. Let's have a look here. Get setup instructions. Get this one. Take this out. Have a quick look through. All right, so setup instructions. Limited warranty information. Some HP support, telephone numbers worldwide, HP business notebook, accessories. So a quick look at that. It shows you some other parts that you can get um, put with your HP laptop, bags and um, CD uh, reader and writer, because this, this model actually doesn't come with the reader and writer, but we'll have a look at that in a sec. Okay, so here's the main laptop here, just with the packaging, get rid of that, both sides, flip it over and we've got the little bit of sticky tape there, just want to pop that off, pull off the plastic from the laptop, so let's see if we can give you a bit of a overall view there. Okay, you can see that's where the battery goes in. Pop that in now. And we just slide it in. Like so. It's got two little clips either side, which can just push those across and uh, the battery comes out. And you can see that's the new one there. We'll take a look at all the ports and everything on the side. Just give you a quick overview, quick look. One thing you will notice that's different about this one and the uh, the G2 and the G1 is the G2 has this rounded buttons where the G1 had more square type buttons. 
but pretty much it's the same uh, model on the outside with some small differences okay guys so let's take a look at the front of the G2 so over here you've got your uh, hard disk uh, um, light so when the uh, hard disk is booting up um, you, you should see that flashing you've got your SD slot so you can put in your memory there we just turn it around and on the side you've got your multi audio uh, and uh, microphone jack okay so you just put one jack in there and it, it does um, both uh, microphone and audio okay if you have a look at the next port across this USB uh, 3 port 10 gigabit Ethernet uh, jack there then we've got our um, power jack where we plug in the um, power brick which I showed you before just plug straight in there and then you've got a little light there to make sure that the um, that the uh, laptop is charging if we turn it around it's got a really nice finish on the back of the laptop so very curved quite stylish we've got the HP logo on the back and on the back we've got the HP logo so if we keep turning it around on the sides here you've got your Kensington lock so you can actually lock it down uh, if you needed to uh, for security uh, measures then on the side you've got your GPU and CPU fan vent so this just allows the hot air to come out when the fan starts up then we have the VGA port in case you want to plug it into an external display HDMI port in case the external display is a HDMI and then two more uh, USB ports here so they'll be the USB 3 ports on the top of the laptop we've got the HP logo you can see there um, probably helps if it's up around the right way there we go and the top of the laptop has this kind of uh, matte black rubbery feel to it so I guess if um, you know if you're carrying this around because it's quite portable it's quite light um, so you don't drop it or so it doesn't slip out of your hands um, it's got that rubbery type feel on the bottom very similar but it's a harder type of plastic a bit more durable um, but it also has a kind of a, a grippy feel to it as well so obviously if you're carrying it around you don't let it slip out of your hands um, if we have a look at the bottom as well in here we've got our hard disk and our memory slots under this panel here and also you'd be able to get access to your uh, W WAN ports your wireless ports as well uh, wireless cards would be in there now you can change the memory out in this uh, laptop as well and actually if you're looking to run some games uh, putting an extra memory module so upgrading the 4 gigabyte uh, memory to the 8 gigabyte memory will actually improve uh, the performance of the um, graphics card okay so if, if, if I have had a few people ask before some questions about um, you know gaming and that on these types of laptops they will run they're not as good as the Nvidia chipsets but it will work for some games um, but yeah for, for this model if you wanted to buy this model and you wanted to run some pretty basic games on uh, low frames then I would suggest you upgrade the, the memory in it and put a second memory module into it okay um, if we have a look up here we've got the two um, uh, sliders so you slide these across to eject your battery out and just a little bit of a vent ventilation across there that's pretty much it from the bottom okay guys so let's uh, open it up and take a look on the inside so the first thing you'll notice is when you touch the chassis or the palm rest of the laptop it's cool to touch so it's actually made out of aluminium so um, this part here is all aluminium this part up here is plastic and obviously the the screen is plastic as well um, you've got your fingerprint scanner so if you want to log into your machine just you can set up your fingerprint scanning you do a swipe there it will just log in you don't have to type your password every time um, if you look at the the mouse pad here you've got the change design from the G1 which is the um, the rounded mouse buttons and if you have a look here there's also a, a little uh, dot here it's a bit hard to see um, when you turn the machine on if you double tap that dot it will turn your mouse pad off so if you're typing something and you didn't want to uh, you keep touching your mouse pad or your mouse keeps moving all over the screen you can actually just double tap it it will disable the mouse it will turn it off um, and when you're finished typing you know your long essay or whatever you whatever you're typing in a long email you can just double tap it and uh, the mouse pad will will start working again it can actually confuse some people because some people will double tap it accidentally 
and then they think, oh, my, you know, my mouse is broken, but it's actually just disabled it here. You've got the ProBook logo here, uh, etched into the aluminium, and then just your standard uh, keyboard. Um, up the top here, we've got the, um, we've got a, a volume mute button and a wireless button across the top, and on the left hand side here we've also got the power button up the top there. Okay guys and if we take a look at the screen here so it's a matte LED 13.3 inch screen with a native resolution of 1366 by 768 pixels okay if uh, you can see it's got the HP logo there and the uh, uh, 430 um, model at the top there. On the top of the LED screen we've got the webcam so it's a 720, I mentioned this before, it's a 720 HD webcam and either side we've got the little mic uh, pinholes there um, and right beside the HD uh, webcam we've got a uh, orange light that will light up when the webcam is in use. One other thing to mention guys is the LED screen on the um, HP uh, probably isn't the, the best on the market. You could probably get uh, some other laptops with a better screen. The brightness of the screen isn't overly great uh, on this particular model as it's uh, targeted for enterprise users who will mainly be uh, using the laptop in low light conditions. Okay guys, so we've plugged it in there now and we'll just turn it on and get an idea for how quick it kind of boots up. So just a few things to mention as well guys. There's a really good uh, in-depth review on uh, notebook check website so i'll put a link uh, on the 123myit website to that article um, i'll also put a link on if you're looking at purchasing uh, one of these laptops um, the prices generally start around about a thousand dollars and go to uh, 1500 depending on what type of setup you get so whether you go for the the um, if you go for the uh, core i5 or the i7 uh, you can also get an ssd which will make the um, the laptop much quicker as well. Um, if we just log on there and uh, we'll log into Windows 8.1 alright and there you can see that it's come up there now. Now just uh, to mention how long the battery will last on uh, without any uh, power source plugged into it. So you're looking at about 12 hours um, for idle time so if you just left the machine like this you unplugged the, uh, the power cable at the side and you just left it running like this in idle it would actually last for about 12 hours so um, from that from that side of things it's pretty good um, if it's under heavy load you probably get about two hours out of it and if you are just using normal mode so like you know, maybe some uh, excel spreadsheets or word uh, processing um, or even playback video playback you're looking at around about five hours to about five and a half hours for general general use um, so that kind of takes into account, okay, you might use it for a bit, get up and then you walk away and then you sort of come back to it. Okay guys, so we'll just go in and uh, start up a web, web browser here and we'll just try and get an idea of the screen. I'll try and give you guys an idea of the screen um, and how it becomes a little bit dark when you turn it to the side. Um, it's not the best, not really the best um, example because of the lighting in here, but as you can see the screen does go a little bit not so clear when you turn it on to the side there So that's at max volume there. We'll turn the volume down a little bit. So back up to max volume, and then on YouTube, it's also at uh, max volume as well. Okay, guys. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it. If this was helpful, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and share the video. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.